I Don't Want to Be Quiet by Laura Ellen Anderson. No, I don't want to be quiet. I'd rather be loud. I want to be heard and stand out from the crowd. It's so much more fun when you're noisy like me, but I don't understand why mum doesn't agree. Mum whispers, be quiet, your brother's sleeping. But oops, it's too late. Now the baby's weeping. At school, I love chatting and laughing and clapping. But my teacher gets angry and then ends up snapping. Enough. Please be quiet. You must listen in school. But silence in class is a terrible rule. Stairs are for stomping, spoons are for drumming, and when mum's working, I help her by humming. Mm -hmm. Tins are for clanging, balloons are for popping. Mum really hates that, but I am not stopping. Food is for crunching, and drinks are for slurping. My feet are for splashing, my mouth is for burping. <coughs> Oops. But one day at the library, it's quiet and boring. I'd rather be singing or spinning or roaring. So I make silly noises and shuffle my chair. I twiddle my thumbs and fiddle my hair. I huff and I puff and I finally burst. This place is too quiet. This place is the worst. Shh, says the whole room. No talking, please. I stop and I frown. Then I stare at my knees. My cheeks go all red, so I pick up a book. Maybe I'll give this a really quick look. Page after page I read, completely spellbound. Hours have passed and I've not made a sound. But inside my head there's a whole lot of noise. Magical quests, pirate girls and lost boys. Next morning I listen. And what do I hear? Birds tweeting and singing their new morning cheer. And then while at school, I learn lots of new things about numbers and poems and the reign of great kings. I like being quiet. It means I hear more of the small gentle sounds that I couldn't before. And there are lots of places and times to be loud when I'm drumming and dancing and making mum proud.